Commander Lavalier sent word that you'd be coming. A veteran of your talents is most welcome. Not that I don't think we can handle the situation, mind you. I've learned a trick or two since that disaster with the Armel Jar. But returning to the task at hand, the Flames Reconnaissance Scouts have reported Imperial soldiers assembling at Raubin's Bush. Such a force is likely interested in only one thing, getting their hands on resources found here at the processing plant. The Garleans could begin marching on us at any time. Pray speak with Lieutenant Edelstein, and that we might coordinate our counter strategy. In the meantime, I will inform the others that you have arrived. No doubt it will be welcome tidings. Cool. Corporal Derblander, my soldiers yet tell tales of your deeds during Operation Arkham. Would that we could sit a while and reminisce about old times, but I fear more pressing matters require our attention. The civilian draughtsmen that you see have come across several highly suspicious crates within the boundaries of the processing plants. We fall away if you see something, say something type of mentality. I had the sappers take a closer look and our worst fears were confirmed. These boxes contain powerful explosive devices. Devices of imperial design, no less. By my order, the flame station here are conducting a thorough sweep of the compound as we speak. Though it troubles me that we are unable to apprehend the Imperial spy behind this, I have faith that our men will be able to neutralize the threats for now. In the meantime, our scouts bring troubling news on the latest movements of the Imperial army. I would once again ask your aid. Now. We've been keeping a gross eye on the Garlean garrison, and it seem the Imperials have finally begun to mobilize. According to the reconnaissance report that just came in, the squadrons seen leaving the Castrum are too few in number to effectively take and hold our position. They will likely mount a swift assault and focus on the acquisition of resources. I have of course, also shared this report with the Crystal Braves. Alphado would like me to note he's in charge. They've decided to take to the field to meet this assault head on. I have apprised your fellow Scions of the situation, and I am heartened to know that they will be joining the efforts. Pray report to Lieutenant Alien, and lend your much welcome strength to the counteroffensive. I can tell you right now, I would derail and watch that Hoag thing right now midstream, but like 2.5 is massive. It's already almost one. The goal is to finish ARR today. We've gotten a little, a little off track. We're four hours in and we are not four hours in. <laughs> Glad to have you with us, Meteor. As I'm sure Lieutenant Elsin has explained, the Garleans have deployed a small force from Castrum Meridianum. Their man, column, uh, their main column assembles to the north near Dalmut's Talons, but we've also spied several squads attempting to conceal themselves on the approach to the west. They wish for you to rush forth and commit to the battle with the main column, re leaving the detached force free to raid and plant and pillage supplies. Not much of a strategy, but these are desperate men. Captain Ilbert. Uh, 
Greetings, sire. And I understand the commander bid you and your fellow to fellows to come lend a hand to the Braves. With such mighty heroes at its disposal, the fourth should have little trouble contending with all the guardians might throw at them. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. The third was getting restless holed up in Uldar, so I marched them out here to fill in any holes in the plant's defenses and add their numbers to your counterattack. The reinforcements are welcome. We have enough soldiers now to divide our forces and safely engage the enemy far beyond the walls. I would be best, would be best to avoid staging a battle anywhere near this much cerulean. Let's take the fight to the Guardians. A wise course indeed. I shudder to think of the consequences should any of these storage tanks be exposed to fire. If there are any objections, the Scions shall join the fourth and give this battle to the main column. You're with the third, then, Warrior of Light. Your job will be to intercept these squads hiding out in the west to prevent them from reaching the processing plant. When you're ready to proceed, report to Lieutenant Yuhasi. His scouts should have a rough idea of where the Imperials have concealed themselves by now. Pleasure to be fighting at your side once more, Scion. Our operations invariably succeed when you're around, and victories are want to pave the road with Gate Braider Coin. Now the detached fort we've been sent to eliminate has split into smaller squads. The better to conceal themselves within the terrain hereabouts, I imagine. We need to split up ourselves as well to cover more ground and make sure that we root out all the would-be raiders. Now, seeing as you're an army unto yourself, I've assigned you your own areas to scout and clean of enemy soldiers. All right, it'll be a simple search and destroy. We'll rendezvous back here when the task is done. Happy hunting, Scion. Nothing better than hunting Imperials with Magitek. Oh god. They came out of nowhere. Alright. Little Bahamut action. Grim Scion. I'll take that to mean that, between us, more than a few Garleans won't be making it back to the Castrum. Yeah, these Imperials, though, they certainly made us earn our pay. Well, I wouldn't be a happy man if I had never had to tussle with another of those Magitek horrors. Now, it's time we bid this war this war torn land farewell. Farewell. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Now, I will contact the fourth and let Lieutenant Allegheny know the West is now clear. I would appreciate if you would do the same when you report to Lieutenant Elsie. of the Gallians. I, uh, killed a lot of them. Oh, yes. Their raiding bodies are no more than. <laughs> Excellent. The Armelgen engineers would be most relieved to hear that the plant is no longer in immediate danger. 
Thank you again for your assistance. Oh, I'm quite the murderer. I'm super good at murdering. You must be anxious for words of your fellows. Lieutenant Dallian has reported a sound victory over the main column. And informs me that the Scions have already turned their attention to other duties. All but one, that is. The Rogan lady with the large axe. It would appear she has chosen to remain at the site of the battle. I know not what task keeps her from returning to civilization, but Northern Thanalan is no place to wander alone. Even for a capable sort such as her. I would certainly feel better about things if you could check in on her before you continue on your way. Alright. Let's blow up a weapon. Let's set it off. It's gonna be great, Mombreda. It's gonna be great. I'm ready. You got, you got a sweet axe. I like you even more. You're a warrior? Come on. Oh. Hold on. I won't be a second. The beast seemed peckish, so I gave it a taste of my axe. I know, I know. As Orion Jay never tires of reminding me, an axe ill becometh the hand of a scholar. <sighs> what can I say? I like axes. To hear my mother tell it, I came into this world holding one. And it's not as if it stopped me picking up a quill, is it? <laughs> I often think of the man who introduced me to the joys of learning. He's one of the reasons I decided to come to Eorzea. Him and my excruciatingly stiff childhood friend. Considering how unalike we are, it's a wonder we ever got on. <laughs> <sighs> the world's a strange old place, isn't it? Aye, that ought to do it. So far, so good. At these concentrations, it shouldn't matter too much if something goes awry. Just enough ether to make it interesting. Did you see that? The way the crystal glowed? The siphon works, I'm happy to say. With a few refinements, it should satisfy our appetite for ether. Which just leaves the small matter of forging our blade. I'm not sure how to go about it just yet. But I swear to find a way. I'll put a blade in your hands if it's the last thing I do. He senses me. A useful talent. Anassian, are they on to us? By your brand, I see you are an Archon of Charlian, Keeper of knowledge, seeker of truth. Meddler. I don't know what the hells you're saying, but I don't much like your tone. <laughs> your instincts serve you well. But come, be not unsettled on my account. That lovely brow was not made for frowns. Ah, uh, but I waste my breath. Let me direct my words to one who understands them. We meet at last, warrior of light. I am Nabrialis. And you have long been a thorn in my side. I suffered the overweening presence of Lahabrea that men might host the power of gods, only for you to undo my hard work. Ah! Oh, bugger. Oh! Do settle down. You must concede that I acted in self-defense. But what's this? I do not sense the blessing of light. Oh, dear. Could it be that frail Heidlin has forgotten her champion? This I did not foresee.
shorn of light as you are, you are no longer a threat. And better yet, the seal is broken. Now is the time to claim the staff. With it in my grasp, I shall rise above them all and take my place at Lord Zodiac's right hand. What did that bastard want with us? I don't know. Nobrialis, he calls himself. <laughs> with charm like that, I'll bet he has maidens falling at his feet. Unconscious. <laughs> but this staff... You say just talking about it had the bastard grinning like a brat on his name day. <laughs> Must be quite a staff. Oh, gods. He means Tupsimati, Master Louis Soir's staff. Minfilia's in danger. We have to get back to the Rising Stones. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Do I make these voices when I'm not streaming? Um, the, the, the simple answer is no, but as I've tried to improve at voice acting, I've begun doing them off stream, but only like when I'm home alone. So I talk to myself when I'm like doing dishes or something if my wife's not home because I'm trying to get better at them, but on my own now. Um. No, that's a new thing. That's a new thing. You're here. Yeah, you said to meet here. M Master Louis Soir's staff is kept in the solar, isn't it? Quick, now. How did she get back here faster than me? Oh, no. You too. So, you were able to divine my intent. What now, warrior of light? Ah, but that name is no longer fitting. You have become decidedly dull and quite incapable of barring my entry. What do you mean? You truly do not know. Then I suppose it is only right that I enlighten you. The blessing of light kept you and your fellow meddlers safe. It was that which prevented my kind from entering your domain. My kind, I say, Though it had no power over the likes of Elidibus and La Habrea, being of this world, they could come and go as they please, while I could only look on. But I need look no longer. Now that the seal is gone, I mean to act. Unlike the others, I am not given to waiting. I shall take that staff and bring about the next rejoining. Rejoining? Then it was your doing. The Isle of Val, the scholars, all of it. You will not harm her! You already tried this. Uh. Moonbreeder! Why must you insist on forcing my hand? Did you learn nothing from our last meeting? Ah, but I forget. My words fall upon deaf ears. The staff is but a broken relic. A memorial to the departed. What possible use could you have for it? What use? 
You mean to say that all this time you kept the key, never knowing what it was you possessed? The Staff Tupsimati, or rather the stone tablet it bears, is host to a great power. Together with the Horn, it can be used to draw vast quantities of ether from its bearer's surroundings. How else do you think Louis Soi was able to invoke the power of the Twelve without making them an offering of crystals? Summoning requires not only prayer, but a profusion of ether. Even a child knows that. If I did not know before, you may be certain I do now. But no. above all, I know that we cannot allow this staff to fall into your hands. I will die before I let you take it. Insufferable woman. I would happily end your miserable life here and now. Alas, Elidibus would never let me hear the end of it. Do it. Very well. If you will not part with the staff, I will take you too. Now we're going to have to rescue her. Do it. Do you know how many errands she sent me on? Kill her. But by kidnapping her, now I have to go get her. After them. Quickly. Before the rift closes. Go. Oh. 